is very suspicious. Yeah. I think she might know something about this incident that we don't know. We need to tell her Master Lee about this. He needs to know what's behind this. If Lily is the one responsible for all this, she has a whole lot of explaining to do. I'm Dr. Melanor, the nurse at this school. We are just going to do a little test to make sure that your DNA does not match the one in the sample here. It will only take a minute. What's the test for? You'll find out later. Whatever. Okay. You are free to go back to your class. So, did you tell him? Yeah. I told him about how much of a coincidence it was. Good. So, what did he say? He said that they were going to call in all students that were outside of class and in the house within two minutes before the alarm. He said he was going to do a DNA test to make sure the DNA wasn't the same as the one in the sample. He told me what the test was for. But he told me not to tell anybody. At least not for now. I was just about to put the results up. DNA A001 is negative, and so is DNA A002. But DNA A003 is positive. The code has been cracked. The code has been cracked. We appreciate you all for joining us in this very important emergency assembly. I have called the assembly to inform you that I may have just cracked the code and who was behind the fire alarm incident. A few moments ago, you heard the announcement that all students in the hallways within two minutes before the alarm went off were reported to the nurse's office. We did a DNA test to make sure that the DNA did not match the one in the sample. Chase is the only one that knows what the test was before. Chase, spill the tea. The sample had the DNA that was on the fire alarm button. If it matched, that means that the individual was responsible. Or at least was suspicious. Lily, you are the only one that tested positive. Being that your DNA was similar, if not exactly the same as the one that was located on the button. It is up to you to confess. It was me. I pulled the fire alarm. What? survivor of the Fumaki clan. Years back, my father was the leader of the clan. It was late at night when the Dark Wizards came in and invaded our home. We used destructive spells. We lost everything. We had to... We had no choice but to demolish the house and start a new life. Father was so infuriated that he used the deadly fire spell. Incendios Megos Maximus. The house went to flames. All the dark witches died. They were able to throw me out of the house before they collapsed. And what happened to the rest of the family? They didn't survive. They were able to save me, but they died in the process. 
they're going to save my sister next. But it was too late. The house collapsed, and so did their lives. <gasps> and now, I have nobody else supporting me. My life completely changed when I got that note that I was invited to enroll in anyways. I will strive to become number one and shoot them. And nobody will stop me. I'm very sorry to hear what happened to your family. But unfortunately, due to your actions, you must serve a week's time of suspension. What? You still suspending me? Pathetic. Are you really that ignorant? I'm very sorry. The rules are the rules. And we have to abide by them at all costs. Whatever. You will stay in your dorm the full time. You will not be allowed to exit your dorm. Meals will be served at the same time and will be delivered to your room. Magic will be confiscated during this time as well. Chant the spell and hand the magic over to this plush. <laughs>